Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 20th, 2023. Well, this morning we've got kind of a bearish start to the day. We have uh, markets around the world looking lower here this morning. Obviously, we had kind of a rough sell off into the close yesterday after Jerome Powell said inflation is still too high and not a surprise he's been saying that all along but for some reason the market loves to try and think they know more than the fed does and tries to anticipate um, what's going to happen here and then gets uh, disappointed when he says well same thing he's been saying all along we have European markets down across the board this morning, decidedly bearish. We have Asian markets that closed their overnight session, uh, decidedly bearish with, um, well, it looks like the Nikkei was still leading the way um, in points uh, to the downside. And then we have um, oil, oil up this morning there is some concern apparently going on that um, the war in um, Israel will um, expand and um, as a result uh, Middle East stability is obviously quite important to energy and we've got those energy prices spiking here a bit this morning uh, moving higher and the good news is maybe a little good news is that uh, bond yields are just ever so slightly lower here this morning um, during the night we actually had the 10-year go above 5% briefly at this very moment it's 4.95 so we've had just a little bit of relief on some of the bonds um, and that's creating some, well, obviously a little bit of bearishness in the pre-market with all of these data points. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. How about we take a look at some charts. Let's try to shake off that bias that we might have on uh, what we want the market to do and let's take a look at what the market could do um, by looking at these charts. Well first off as you can see we had a pretty rough selling um, into the close of the day yesterday and we did officially now make a low we, we broke this little tail right here so we made a lower high followed by a, um, a, a well breaking of support in here breaking on down it hasn't made officially a lower low you probably shouldn't have said that but we did break this support level in here in the diamonds which um, obviously raises a little concern, a little fear here in the market. So if the bears were to continue to find inspiration this morning, um, I would suggest a test of this support um, area right in here would be the next logical place we might find a bounce. And you can see we're pushing down there in the pre-market. Now, sometimes that can serve as the low in the pre-market and we can bounce from there. And remember, if we do bounce from here, if the bulls, come in with some inspiration here today. Well, just keep in mind that that right there would possibly constitute a higher low, assuming we could follow through and break that high. So uh, keep that in mind. Not all is lost here, but it certainly is a pretty, pretty um, bearish picture here at the moment in the diamond. So um, if the bears follow on through and break this support level, I would look for this area down in here. You'll notice that there is a little bit of price support right across here. It even carries across to over into here. A little bit of price support there. We might be able to stop there first before we move on down. The critical thing would be if we make new lows in the diamonds that would really raise some concern here overall. Now, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this line while we're talking and I'm gonna move it right over here. 
Because I think that really has now become the the new potential downtrend somewhere right in through here. We'll want to watch that carefully. Um, now this was obviously very steep. The rally back has now fell at a lower high. So we'll want to be watching that level in the chart. Let's take a look at our um, technicals here in the chart and obviously failing the 50 day moving or 200 day moving average um, notice that our short-term moving averages are crossing down through the 200 day and we have even dropped back below the 500 day moving average here in the diamond so pretty bearish situation just keep in mind if we do rally these areas now will create some price resistance in the chart if we take a look at our SPY, SPY, well, doggone it, we failed at this resistance area in the chart. We didn't quite make it all the way back up there to the downtrend, which means this becomes our new potential uh, trend in the chart as we have officially broken any of this consolidating support here um, with yesterday's move on down. So keeping in mind, we've got a little bit of a um, support area right in here. And I need to move this line down a little bit right in around here, a little bit of price support. You can see we've got the lows of this area and we've got these highs in this area um, possibly to hold us as support. But if the bears push on through here, then I think there's a chance that we could move on down and retest these lows that we made earlier um, in the month. Watch that carefully here in the chart. If we go beyond that, we're probably coming down into this bigger area of price support and I can't rule out the possibility that we could see that level down here eventually. But let's right now just keep an eye right in this area, see if we can catch some support in there and, and, and prevent making new lows um, here on the month. Um, if we take a look at our, uh, oh, if the bulls find inspiration and we bounce up off of here, there certainly is reason they could. If we could find some inspiration here and push up, then we would want to be watching this downtrend area and, of course, some of this resistance in the chart uh, to potentially reject that upside move. Keeping in mind here on our technicals, failure up here near the 50-day moving average. Notice we came in here with just a, within a few ticks of testing that 50-day moving average and now we're pushing back down i think there's a high probability we could see the 200-day moving average here uh, pretty easily so um, obviously not the best circumstances here uh, particularly if you want the market to be bullish this um, this isn't what you want to see let's take a look at our qqq our qqq um, also pushing down we We've been struggling in here for a period of time and you'll notice we've got this a little area of price support in here that has failed in the chart. And we happen to fail here on the QQQ really right where we would expect to see that failure. And now the question is just how far will this failure go? We obviously broke this support yesterday um, with that selling into the close. Um, pretty rough move um, into the close yesterday with a nasty whipsaw, a couple of nasty whipsaws. It looked like we were going to rip back to the upside and then completely fail. So watching this area in here, there is that possibility that if the bears continue to engage, as you can see, we've broken through those support levels that we really could move back down here pretty easily and test the lows. Um, recent lows here in the QQQ. The question would be if that were to fail, I suspect if this area fails, it's really going to bring in the bears. There's going to be some panic um, here in the market if we fail in that area. So just keep a close eye on that. Now, if we can catch some support in here, there's a little tiny bit of support right through there, as you can see. If we can catch that and the bulls can find some inspiration, in here well let's look for a retest of this resistance here in the chart if they can push on through that then let's see if they can come back up here and maybe take another shot here at the downtrend and that would create kind of a higher low in the market and that would certainly make the ch the chart challenging to read 
um, challenging to understand which way we would go. We'd probably see a lot of volatility in it, but let's keep a close eye on that. And one of the reasons that might be possible is remember next week, we're going to start into the big bank or not the big bank, the big tech earnings reports. And of course, anything is possible uh, during those. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our Russell. The IWM continues to be the weakest of the indexes. And I suggested yesterday, if we were to break down through this support, that could be pretty rough uh, for the market. And obviously we made that move yesterday, breaking on down. Now there is a little bit, a little tiny, you can see a little tiny bit of um, support right in here. Now, there's not much but there is a little bit of support there. If the bears continue to push, maybe we can find a little bit of support right in there and bounce. If that doesn't hold, um, then I think we run the risk that we could be all the way down here uh, testing these levels, um, last year's lows in the Russell. So pretty rough overall. You know, we haven't been able to get much going here in the Russell at all. There just hasn't been a whole lot of love um, to spread around here in those small caps. So pretty rough. If the bulls can find inspiration and bounce up off of this intermediate level here, maybe we come back up and we test these lows um, and see if we can get through there. And if we can, if we can bounce back up in here, I'm gonna say there's a little downtrend right here now. So watch that area. We might run into some of these resistance areas right through here and that downtrend to be the next area to be focused on in the IWM. Let's take a look at our VIX. Oh, here, I forgot. Let's take a look at our moving averages here. Our moving averages, as you can see, really bearish here on the IWM. We've got the 50 down through the 200 day moving average. Our short term moving averages are clearly very, very bearish. Not a good situation here for the IWM. There's a lot of work for this to, to improve. And certainly that's possible if we can start getting some better data here in the markets. Let's take a look at our um, VIX. Our VIX obviously raising some concerns here, a little bit of fear coming into the market, um, into the close yesterday as those sellers came in hard and you can see pushing up through the 20 handle here in the VIX. That really raises some concerns because we're breaking these recent highs. If this were to continue on, this is where you really get those potential panic moves. And what I mean is we just drop hard and the VIX spikes. And you can see it can spike really, really hard um, when we start running into some panic. So be careful and be watching for that possibility. But also we could watch for that possibility that we could you know, calm down just a little bit and we might rest back into the trend or even consolidate up here for a little bit before that occurs. One thing that might be a problem is the worry on um, the Israel conflict expanding as we head into the weekend. Um, that uncertainty heading into the weekend can always um, add some pressure here and maybe elevate that fear um, in the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 indicator, the good news is we are already oversold in T2122 and you can see we kind of hooked here a little bit, maybe giving us some hope that we might bounce up out of here today. Friday has been one of those good days to rally, so it's possible that we could catch a little bit of relief rally but please keep in mind that relief rally may not hold all the way through the day just simply because of that uncertainty going into the weekend so watch that carefully we could whipsaw in here easily but if the bears find inspiration here today and they certainly are this morning we really don't have a whole lot of space to move down it may be a little bit lethargic in the move to the downside if the bulls can find inspiration today well then we've certainly opened a massive upside opportunity in t2122 so keep a close eye on that if we can catch a little bit of relief here today uh, t2108 uh, clearly Pretty rough yesterday, but the good news here, we, and we gotta look for a little bit of good news every once in a while, the good news here is we didn't break back down to new lows. So although we've been pressing lower here, we didn't make a new low 
in T2108, the percentage of stocks below their 40 day moving average. So you might be able to hold on to a little bit of hope that that means we are going to catch some kind of a relief to the upside. I will say this little upside trend did kind of break. We broke back down through this little support area in the chart. So it's not like, woohoo, let's, uh, all the bulls are ready to go. Um, I'm not saying that at all. I would say be be a little bit careful here, but I do think there is a chance from this oversold uh, condition that we could get at least a relief rally. You can see only uh, 22, 22.5% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now, T2107 did make new lows pushing on down. So pretty rough here in that um, uh, in this um, indicator. And you can see we do, we have plenty of uh, levels below. We can continue to fall in here. And looking across, there is maybe a little bit of price support right in here. Perhaps we could catch that price support. Um, and bounce up off of that. We do want to make um, a note that we are still in a downtrend here on T2107. In any rally back, we've created some fairly significant levels of price resistance in here. So we've got quite a bit of work to do. Just realizing that we could move substantially lower in T2107 um, does um, have that chance to really elevate the fear if we start to fall hard. So keep an eye on that. We've got 31% um, of the stocks holding above their 200 day. Let's take a look at our T2101 and that's the market breadth. And if there's any hope here um, that um, the bears won't um, be able to push on through, it might be here in T2101. What you are seeing here in T21, we did elevate just slightly on the selling way wave but this didn't show a whole lot of real major energy to um, to elevate that breadth um, yesterday so there may be that hint of hope that maybe we just seesaw in here and start uh, coming back down in here on the buy wave uh, or flatten out just a little bit and get a little bit of rest or relief in here. We're continuing um, to build this wedging pattern and who knows how much longer we're going to have to bounce around in here before we make that break um, either out or, or to the top side or downside. But we'll want to be watching that pretty closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we obviously have some things to be thinking about, but it's not um, not really going to be on the economic calendar side. We've got more Fed speakers here today, and then we've got a Baker Hughes rig count, which is unlikely to move the market at all today. So if we've got a day to give us a little bit of relief from all of the bad data points that we've seen here in the market, then that would be um, our hopeful opportunity that today we just don't have a lot to go on and and um, we can relieve some of that that sell pressure also we have fewer earnings today we do have some notables here so i'll run through these here this morning we've got um, american express that we'll be reporting today keep an eye on that obviously this has been moving in a substantial downtrend trying to find some support levels in here maybe trying to put in a higher low. This will be an important report for AXP, whether we're gonna um, break that downtrend and start moving up or if we continue to falter. Um, we've got um, ALV that we'll be reporting today. Looks like we're having a little bit of volatility in the pre-market. Perhaps that earnings report has already come in. We rallied up here and came up into that downtrend and now we've reversed it here in the pre-market looking lower. So watch that one. Um, CMA will be reporting today. Uh, this could be obviously a very important one for CMA as well because we've been moving in this downtrend. We're right at the point of potential failure in the chart. So this could be a critical report. Will we break through these resistance areas and start moving back up or will this be the next lower high in CMA? Um, there we go. Um, Huntington, whoops. Huntington will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Um, obviously, also moving in a downtrend. These regional banks have been struggling in here just a bit. 
some resistance above. So once again, a critical report here today to make the decision, are we going to be breaking to the high side on this or are we going to continue moving lower? We've got Regions Financial that will also be reporting. It looks like they've made that decision already here this morning, continuing the downtrend in the chart, rejecting some of this resistance and gapping lower on their results this morning. And last but not least, we've got Schlumberger. Now Schlumberger has been flirting with this all-time high up here. We broke through, I guess it's not all-time high, but flirting with this major high up here, trying to get through. We, we have built this possibility of this big head and shoulders type pattern up here but this is going to be critical here today on this um, report will the report um, provide us that energy to hold up here and maybe move on higher or is this going to be the failure point and possibly making this little downtrend uh, play out uh, for more lows so keep an eye on that that's the notables for today so watch them carefully let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button click that thumbs up button when you see it also click that bell icon and if you feel that the video is worthy if you could do me that favor and that would be leave a brief comment um, uh, any kind of comment helps it can be an emoji whatever it's the engagement with a video that makes a big difference and thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that now i need to apologize i was so busy yesterday with e-learnings and um, a, a class on the 3-8 trap that i teach um, i just didn't have a chance to answer those but i did run through them hopefully you saw that i did note them um, I will be back on task this morning answering questions in, in, the, uh, in the video, so thank you so much. Let's take a look at some stock setting up, and remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. This could be, uh, it is shaping up, it could be a really wild day with worries um, about the Israeli war maybe expanding. So be kind of careful, plan your trades carefully, and remember, um, one of our primary responsibilities of a trader is to protect our capital. Sometimes the better course of action is to do less trading or no trading when the market is providing lots of uncertainty. Let's take a look at a few out here. I did place an alert on BTU yesterday. Now I know most people, we just hate coal anymore. Coal's, coal's the evil, um, evil energy um, out there. But um, it's moving in a nice bullish upside pattern. This little consolidating move up here is interesting to me as this continues to bounce around in here. The closer and closer we get to trend, if we can find that, find that bullish pop in here, I would look for that opportunity for BTU to move to the upside. Um, keep a close eye on that. Um, other other places in the stock, you know, I was looking at this WRK, um, this trying to pop through this resistance up here. Look at this. The volatility of this market is intense. And when we fail, we fail hard and fast. So watching uh, this now breaking down in that trend, the only thing we could do at this point is just be watching this for that next lower high. Uh, possibility uh, for a possible short unless it can recover and get back up there. So keep an eye on that. Uh, places that I think it would be good to be watching here today would be in the energy sector. Uh, take a look at XLE. XLE has pushed up hard and we've got those oil futures moving up this morning. Watch that closely. We've broken that downtrend. Any rest in here sets up that opportunity for the upside and possibly it's today. We may have just had one day of a spinning top in here and, and then we just push on higher here with those oil futures and, and break on out. And there's a lot of um, uh, you know, oil and gas companies that have been looking good. EQT has been struggling here with this big resistance here in the chart, but with oil popping back up today, might want to watch this for that potential surge up here. We've just got quite a few of these oil companies uh, looking very, very bullish. Uh, ConocoPhillips looking great here, holding in after breaking out. It's not 
coming back down all-time highs up here still have a ways to go so that possibility that this could find that and uh, that move today with the oil futures pushing up and we move on higher here in those charts Halliburton um, Halliburton um, also in that same pattern that potential where we've got this big top up here and that chance that we may just break through and just keep running to the upside in Halliburton. So there are quite a few of those out there to be watching. Now, um, I'm going to, I'm going to mention some companies that you're going to go, um, seriously, uh, <laughs> these are not ready to trade. As you can see, I placed an alert on here to see if Pfizer was going to hold a higher low in here. Um, obviously it did not and continuing to move down. So keep an eye on this right here. I'm going to go to a weekly chart. This is a massive area of potential support. Now that could be wide. It could be right in here. It could be a little bit lower. Watch that area in here. Uh, so many of these uh, drug maker stocks are extremely sold off. That doesn't mean that they have to go up. What it does mean is something to keep an eye on. We might find some support in here and then just imagine picking this up and holding them for a period of time. Imagine Pfizer bouncing off of this area in here and only coming back halfway. This could be a huge opportunity, but they're not ready yet. So start making a list of these stocks that are terribly oversold um, in the chart. And just because they're oversold doesn't mean they can't continue to be oversold. I want to be really, really clear on that. But these are the kind of charts that you look for that value play, that place where, man, these have just been so hammered. And when they start to come back up, they can provide some really good upside opportunity. And you can see there's a lot of them here. Uh, BMY, um, Merck, um, really sold off. Um, uh, Moderna, um, horribly sold off. And these um, have some opportunity if they can find some support and start to catch that relief. So keep an eye on those, maybe for some longer term positions um, in the market. Keep an eye on the US dollar. Uh, the dollar has been holding up strong. Uh, bond yields are pulling back a little bit this morning, but this is a very, very bullish pattern in here where we've pushed back up. We're holding in this area. I would not be at all surprised to see the dollar uh, continue that stretch to the upside can, if we especially see uh, those bond yields continuing to um, grow. So watch watch that carefully. Also, I think you gotta take a look at the precious metals here. Um, there is a major fear um, coming into the market that was pretty subtle here uh, initially. And now take a look here in gold, there is there is a concern here with what's going on in the Middle East and there is a rush to safety. And you can see gold being bought up heavily here, just huge. Um, any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity in gold. Keep an eye on that. You wanna keep an eye on silver, although it hasn't performed quite as well. You'll notice that it is breaking that downtrend. Any rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity to the upside in silver. So keep a close eye on that. If you don't want these, the, the, the paper, paper uh, uh, silver, um, take a look at like PSLV. This is a physical silver ETF where you're actually buying physical silver um, in the move. Um, also making that um, big reversal here and breaking that downtrend. And then um, there is also an ETF uh, for the gold. Um, PHYS, physical gold, that you could uh, potentially pick up some of that. You can see breaking this downtrend really strong in this move. Any rest or pullback I think that holds those higher lows might be interesting to take a look at. And you can see what I just drew out there was just an absolutely massive potential head and shoulders, um, inverted head and shoulders pattern in the chart. So keep an eye on some of those precious metals as the worry and fear about the Middle East really starts to creep up. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening. I do truly appreciate it. And I want to wish you and your family all the very, very best this weekend. Get some rest. 
who knows next week with the big tech earnings anything is possible so be prepared for a wild and crazy week wish you um, um all all the best and i will see you bright and early monday morning take care